beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I have both the best bead boxes from PotomacBeads.com. As most of you guys know, they have two different sizes. They have the best bead box and the best bead box XL. These boxes are ones I highly recommend because unlike some other subscriptions, these do come with complete projects, including a pattern and the beads that you need to make those patterns. So it's really nice, especially right now if you're stuck at home or if you're trying to learn something new like bead weaving or shapes that may be something different for you. Let's get started by looking at their base box. Now this one comes with one paper pattern plus the beads that you need to make that pattern plus a lot more. You're gonna have a lot of supplies beyond that to play with, to mix with your own stash and to come up with your own things. They do have all different lengths of subscriptions from just a single month, which is $25.99 with free shipping in the U.S., all the way up to an entire year, which you do have to pay for up front, but I believe that one breaks down to being about $19.99 per month if you're in the position to do so. Let's go ahead and open it up. You can see it comes in this great reusable box. It's a very thick material with a magnetic closure, so this is great for your bead storage or for gifts. You can see here on the top, we have the information about our theme and it looks like our theme is called Spring Blooms. Soft gentle rains awaken the warming earth. Tiny buds of pink and purple join shoots of green reaching from the soil toward the sun. Fresh breezes dance through the flowering trees. Spring blooms all around us in this month's subscription box. I'm all about that. And then if we flip this up to look inside, we can see the contents of what's included in our base box this month. In addition to that, they do have a website which provides lots of different ideas. They have thousands of tutorials to go along with some of these other beads also if you want to experiment with some of these other things. And then below that, we have our printed pattern. And it looks like we are going to be making the geisha earrings this month, which look beautiful. So there will be everything you need inside this box to make these. And here's a little peek at the inside of that pattern. And of course they have a video to go along with that. Here's a sneak peek of the contents inside our box. Everything's nestled in there safely in our paper shreds. I'm just gonna pop these out, get organized, and we'll look at everything as usual one at a time. And as you can see, they started doing this a little bit differently. They have bagged up the contents that go with our project in a separate bag. So let's actually take a look at these first because it even looks like they changed the listing here so that everything is not starred if it goes with the pattern, it's actually underneath the pattern name. So that's pretty cool, I like that way of organization. The first thing we're gonna look at are these dome beads, the 12 by sevens, and these really catch my eye. They are gorgeous. Look at that iridescent AB finish that are on these. And I do like to point out that your colors and finishes may vary, the ones that you receive in your box. Everybody may get the same shapes, but you may just get a slightly different color variation. That is absolutely beautiful. These are like a topaz colored glass. They have this great etched texture on them and that AB finish really brings them out nicely. So there's six of these and only two of these are actually needed in the project. So you'll end up with beads left over. Next, we have a bag of Miyuki Delicas and I received mine in this kind of frosty, transparent, minty or spring green color. Those are beautiful. Additionally, we have a bag of 15 OC beads. These are again by the brand Miyuki and these are in the color galvanized gold. So I appreciate that everything they're sending for the earrings pattern will go nicely together too. There's also this bag of a six inch strand of Czech pearls. These are very tiny two millimeter in this buttery, very pale yellow, light golden color. We have a pair of ear wires and the little stoppers that go along with them, as well as two wire guards. And nice that they're in gold again to match the color scheme of our earrings. Now we're going to get into the contents of things that don't specifically pertain to the pattern project. The first thing we're going to look at is this pewter pendant, and this certainly does look familiar. Some of you guys know what I mean. Here's a look at that up close. We have our blossom and our leaves and a little bud. There is the hole up there and nothing down here, so you could use this as a pendant or get a little bit more creative with something like that, but definitely fits our theme here this month in the box. And then next we have a bag of 15 Potomac Crystal Briolettes in a six by 12 millimeter size. I love this color. And here is a look at these. They have a beautiful AB finish over this lavender colored glass. 
And the quality is decent. These are not Swarovski crystal. They're going to be more on par with your Chinese crystal, but they look to be in really good shape. They're sparkly. The facets are beautiful. So I know I'll enjoy working with those. And then next we have this bag containing 25 pellet beads. Interesting shape there. The barrel that's kind of pinched in the center with one hole going through the middle. And I received mine in a pastel yellow. It's kind of got a satiny finish. And then my next bag contains some Hawaiian flowers. These are in the 12 millimeter size. You guys know I love the Hawaiian flowers. I'm especially fond of the table cut ones though with like the travertine finish on the edges and the wash that really brings out the details. This doesn't have any special finish or wash on it. So it doesn't really bring out the details like those other ones do, but I still really like them. These are in a topaz colored glass, kind of that amber color, which are different from any of the Hawaiian flowers I currently have. And then of course, every spring blooms box needs some leaves. So we have a bag of these check leaves, the 12 by seven millimeter size. There's 12 of them included. And I really appreciate that these are in a green kind of lifelike leaf color. Sometimes you see these leaves in some really wild colors, but I like the fact that these are actually green. So when you use them, they will look like leaves. You can put them with flowers and really get that kind of a greenery effect with them. They're very glossy. You can see the hint of the detail in there with the veins that are running through the leaves and the hole that runs through the top. Next, we have a bag containing some Potomac's oval duos. These are in the gunmetal finish and there are 10 of these included. So these are a really interesting item. First of all, they are a Potomac Beads exclusive. They have two holes. Let me actually pop these out of the bag. They've got a little weight to them because they are metal and they serve as a base for some flat oval cabochons or crystals. So really interesting item. You can see there are the two holes that are running through the bottom of these spacers but it doesn't look like there's any flat backs included, at least in the base box. So you would need to find those or you could use them flipped over where you just have this smooth side showing, which is a cool option. So they're reversible. And I've seen these used in a few projects. I personally like getting unique items like that to play with. So our next bag contains two flower daisy charms. I received mine in this silver finish. Pretty simple, pretty minimal. They are the same on both sides. There is a closer look at these. And then the last item I received is a glass cat cabochon in a 10 by 14 millimeter size. This isn't my personal style. I'm just being completely honest and I'm not knocking anybody else's style either. So it looks like this cat is playing dress up as Snow White, which is very, very cute. We all have different styles and that's okay. I would not want us all to be drawn to the same things. I do think it's cute. I think it would make a cute gift for somebody else. That's all I'm saying. So you can see our Snow White cat here holding an apple. Really is an adorable little scene. And then on the back, it is flat there. This is too large if you're thinking of those flatbacks to use with those oval duos. So this is something you could use in a different project. You could beat around it, add it to a larger bezel, something of that nature. So here's everything that we received in April's base box. And I really appreciate that we get the pattern, everything to go with it, plus a lot more. I hate to say it, but I feel like this box this month feels a little bit lighter to me as far as the contents go. I counted everything up. There's 14 bags of items included. I still think the value is there, especially when we're talking about getting something shipped to your door with no additional charge and the educational value in it and the entertainment value, not having to source what you need to make a beautiful pair of earrings and having the video instruction to go along with it. I also like that the contents are very unique. You get a great variety of not only glass beads, but you get some findings, you get a couple of focals. So I still do enjoy the subscription. It's just important for me to be completely honest with you about my feelings, especially when they're sending me the base box to share with you guys. Now the XL version of the box, I get on my own in order to compare that with this one for you all. I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna look at the contents of the XL box like we normally do, see the contents that overlap, and maybe some different colors and check out the additional patterns in that one this month. All right, so here I have the XL version for April. You can see it's the exact same sturdy box with the magnetic closure. You open it up and the only difference here is so far you see that this insert says that it's XL. It's the same theme. 
So there is overlap between the boxes, just so you guys know. Don't order both of them thinking they'll both contain completely different items and patterns. And once again, it looks like they did block everything according to the pattern. So with this box, you can get a one-time box or one month for $39.99 shipped, or you can pay for different lengths of subscriptions all the way up to an annual one, which comes out to about $35.99 per month. As I usually do, I will leave the links to both subscriptions below, and I do have a coupon code that I did flash earlier on the screen, but I want to make sure that you're aware of it. And that is OPAL10, O-P-A-L-10, with a capital O in the beginning. And that will save you 10% off your subscription, no matter the length that you decide to go with it first. But I do believe it's a one-time use code. Also, if you see that they've sold out of one of their boxes, you can add your email address to their waiting list and they will notify you when it comes back in stock. All right, so we have two patterns included, one of them being the same that we just saw, and then we have some ocean flower earrings that we're gonna be able to make from the contents of this box also, and everything organized so we know what goes with what. In addition to that, we have some other items. You can see some of these are repeats all the way up to the 10 by 14 millimeter cabochon. Then we have some additional items and a bonus pattern. So moving that aside, here's the geisha earrings pattern that we already saw. Here is the pattern for the ocean flower earrings. Those look beautiful. And look, there are the flat backs that go with those oval duos. Interesting. So we will have those to play with in the XL version of the box, as well as everything else we need. And then this is our bonus pattern. This is the forget me not bracelet. And while this box doesn't specifically come with all of the materials you need to make this bracelet, you can of course get the materials on potomacbeads.com or you may have things in your own stash that will work with this already. So here are the contents. And once again, I really like how they have organized everything. So these are the contents that are gonna go with our ocean flower earrings. And then we have this other bag that is containing everything that will go with our geisha earrings. And then all of our additional contents are in this final bag. Let's pop out the contents of the Geisha earrings pattern in this box and just see what our differences are. So we have the same bag of findings. This is a very similar strand of two millimeter pearls. These are just a little bit more golden, a little bit darker. Still received a bag of the galvanized gold 15-0 seed beads. And so it just looks like the difference here is that the dome beads are in a different color combination, which is beautiful too. And our delicas are just a little bit different. These being a transparent teal green, as opposed to that spring green color I had in the other box. Let's peek at the larger bag of contents real quick and just see if we have any repeats in here. Here are those briolettes. Ah, our leaves are much different. So this is a blue and green combination. Those are still gorgeous. I do like the combination of those two colors. Here's the bag of pellet beads. So those are different too. You remember the other ones I received were a light pastel yellow, and these are more of a topaz with an AB finish. There's the same branch and charms. Our little cat cabochon is different. I can't deny they are extremely cute. Look at this little outfit there. The Hawaiian flowers are a different color. I received these in amethyst colored glass in this box. And I think we're gonna find a couple of our other items here in the bag that contains the contents for the ocean flower earrings pattern. For example, those oval duos I believe are in here. So let's go ahead and break this open and check out these contents closer. So here's an overlap. These are our oval duos, still in the same quantity and gunmetal finish. We also received another bag of Miyuki 15-0 seed beads, this time in the silver gray Ceylon color. And I know I say this a lot, but I'm always happy to get these additional 15-0 colors because I don't use them a ton, but when I am looking for different colors besides my basic gold, silver, black, things I keep on hand, it's nice to have some other things to pull from. We also have a bag of these cute Potomac oval flat backs in the six by eight millimeter size, which of course will go on our oval duos. And there's 10 of these included in the bag. We have another bag containing one gram of two millimeter Potomac crystal rounds. And I received mine in the gold champagne color with an AB finish. Again, going in that pattern. Also something I've been having a lot of fun playing with that they have been sending. These are the Eva beads. These are in the jet antique chrome finish. I'm gonna take these out because that finish looks really interesting. 
And here is that, these are gorgeous. Look at that metallic, the black in the background with some of that silvery luster and the splotches. Very cool. And these of course are a two hole bead. You can see how they have a hole running down through each side. We also have this pair of earring posts and these really caught my eye in the picture that came on the pattern of these beautiful floral posts. And there is a closer look at those with our two backs included. And I really like the amount of detail on those flowers. Those are gonna be beautiful. So that was everything for the second pattern. And we just have four more bags to look at here. This one containing some check glass faceted rounds in the light topaz six millimeter size. So some fire polish like beads which is always nice to have. And I'm sure these colors are gonna vary just like most of the items included. Also included is a bag of 10 freshwater pearls. Mine are mostly in a very light blush pink color. They have that beautiful pearl luster on them and the hole just running through the center of the length of the pearls. Then I received a bag of 15 glass rounds. Now it says these are three millimeter, but these look like six millimeter. Yeah, on the list it says six millimeter. So just some round glass beads and these again being in that topaz color, it seems like I've gotten a lot of that this time around, which makes things easier to coordinate, that's for sure. And then the very last item is a filigree push clasp. So that's cool. That's something different than I have in my collection. You can see how this would accommodate three strands and then to work the clasp, of course, you just pop this in by squeezing on this little lever and then squeeze on it again to pop it out. Nice bright silver and some beautiful filigree detail on that. All right, guys, so that is everything for the Potomac Beads Best Bead Box XL for the month of April 2020. So in addition to these 22 bags, there's also the three patterns, which I think has a lot of value, as well as all the videos that they have to go along with the contents that you get in the box. Now altogether, that'd be about 25 different items. And I will have to go back and double check myself, but I do feel like this is a little bit lighter in terms of the contents. I hate to say that, but again, I'm just trying to give you an honest look at these subscriptions and boxes as I share them and it wouldn't be right if I didn't point that out. So there's still 25 items in here including the three patterns and if you signed up for the yearly subscription you would be getting this for about $34.99 shipped to your door which I still think is great. Like I said, they have all different lengths of subscriptions. Even if you just wanna try them out for one month, that would be $39.99 for the one month. So price does go down a bit if you did sign up for longer terms. I still love everything that's included. I still love the idea. I really like the variety. You get all different shapes to play with, things that are probably new to you. And with so many people unable to actually go out and go to their local craft store, I think it's a great way to get supplies shipped directly to your home to play with. There is so much value you to be said for that. So you guys will have to weigh in down below. Let me know what you think of this month's best bead box XL and their best bead box because I always love to hear from you. And hey, maybe it's just me. You'll have to let me know. Like I usually do, I'm gonna try to play around with these patterns and come back in a future finished jewelry update to share with you the finished products. I love working with their patterns and the included contents just as a nice beading distraction for me and to try some new things myself. So I want to give you guys a huge thank you for being with me. As usual, I love being able to unbox these subscriptions with you. It makes it a lot more fun. And I do this to give you guys a close up and personal look at what's inside so you can decide if these boxes are right for you, your budget, and your style. Once again, I do have a playlist sharing all the past Potomac Beads boxes if you want to check that out and get a better idea of the subscription overall. And don't forget to use the coupon code OPAL10 with the capital O if you wanna save 10% off. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. I hope you stay healthy, well, and safe. And as always, happy beating. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidandopal.com. Thanks for watching.